I should make a jet first. Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Ram and my shitty F-35. Today we're taking a look at QuizTech Aero Pack, which adds a bunch of parts, such as the one that I'm currently holding, which is a VTOL engine, so its big feature is the fact that you can toggle the VTOL, which looks nice and awesome, and it's basically, well, you can tell already, probably, that it's inspired by the F-35, the real-life plane that does VTOL something like this. This part goes down, and a part up here opens up. Unfortunately, that part, you can't open it up in the VAB. However, I just noticed that you can actually set a thrust limiter on it in the VAB. I actually hadn't noticed that earlier when I was working on it, which is why... The design is the way it is. It actually would be designed a bit differently if I had noticed that I could adjust that earlier. Anyhow, the cockpit has a built-in intake, which is not showing up on this either, which is interesting. There's some extra action groups that you can access and flight that you can't access here. Also, I have just noticed a little thing here that is now bugging me. Let's see if I can... no. Ah, shit. Where'd it go now? Yes, um, I'm just going to ignore that. Ooh, and this sticks out too. I'm just going to ignore that for now because it's not really important for the purpose of reviewing this mod. And so we have the cockpit right here. It's a little lighter than the standard Mark II cockpit. It carries two crew members still, and it has a built-in air intake, like I just said. Additionally, it includes the two VTOL engines. As you can see, this one it has a massive 1.75, which, if I remember correctly, is the same as the turbojet no it's 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 heavier than the turbojet and then there's the other vtol engine without the uh without the uh fancy extra bits around it and that one is a bit lighter weight that's a lighter weight engine it's also slightly less thrust and probably a few other differences i'm not looking at all the details right now you can look up the specifics yourself if you're interested which if you've gotten this far into the video you're probably interested oh yes and this is the vtol lifter section which is a high powered fan intake Yes, that is, that is what it is right here. It's at the very front of this craft. And let's go ahead and launch it to show it off. Huh. The adjustable landing gear uh, seemed to have fallen through the ground, which is an interesting problem. They also don't seem to be retracting. Oh, there we go. They have retracted. Yeah, I don't know what's gone wrong here. But that is beside the point for what we are here to show off today. Today we're here to show off the VTOL capability. And so we're going to activate these two engines. Oops, I have actually activated that one, whereas this one I have to hit this. And we also have these little RCS jet thrusters. Uh, these are using intake air instead of RCS fuel, so that's very useful. Oh yes, and there is an IVA, so you actually can have a... Uh, what's it called? Ma master ma I forgot what these are called MFDs I mean they're MFDs I know that much but the raster prop monitor I'm pretty sure I said it just a minute ago but I then forgot it anyhow as you can see we have this nice little internal we're also sliding along the ground which is interesting let's see if we can manage to take off like this or if it's horribly broken nope everything seems fine I'm actually gonna see if I can now land it without dying horribly because I don't know. Yeah, those the landing gear don't work right for some reason. That is an interesting bug that I'll have to look into. In the meantime, you can see we are on fire. So for now, ignoring the fact that this thing's landing gear basically don't exist, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, which one is it? Toggle VTOL? Yes, there we go. Toggle VTOL and activate this engine. And we're going to take off again the way we did before and fly around a bit and see how well that goes. Oops, forgot to activate the RCS jets. And uh, immediately it looks like I have messed up the balance quite badly. Also that is sparking a lot, which is interesting. And we're going to crash horribly now. This is going well. So I will now give this one final attempt to show off and after that I will give up, go home and cry. Also this I accidentally left in the down position which is going to become important because I set up action groups this time around to make things work better. Like this. Now we have the RCS jets not active actually. What? Let's activate them. There we go, now they're activated and both engines are activated 
and we can lift off. And the RCS jets are probably a bit overpowered, and that's to compensate for the fact that... Wow. Slight imbalance can really screw you up. I think the thing to take away from this video is that I'm really, really bad at making a VTOL with these parts. Something like that. Also, our RCS systems did not activate, probably because I was dumb and didn't activate them. As I said, I'm incompetent. Now, finally, for the real deal, and it won't work, but I'll try it anyhow. Wait, nope, let's activate the engine. Wait, wait, why did both engines activate? Okay, that one's going to activate when I do that. Well then, let's shut that one back down, and then when I hit VTOL mode, it will activate. Ah, ah. And now I will throttle both up, this time only to one-third, and I'm going to hope that things do not go horribly wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and throttle up to two-thirds. And we are now flying as a VTOL. Of course, these landing gear are entirely broken, and it's the, the front engine is overpowered compared to the rear engine, which is annoying. Like, really annoying. Like, what the hell, I can't make this go sh hard enough. Now we finally have some control. Yeah, I get the feeling some statistics in the VAB, or the SPH rather, are kind of lying about how to make things actually work, because this should have been stable at that lower value for the thrust limiter, not at this value. Also, I find it really interesting that we keep getting the collision effects from something up there. It keeps saying that we're colliding when we're not really colliding. And now we're spinning to our doom. At least let's spin to doom from cockpit view. Yeah, seriously, what the heck? Okay, eject. I ejected the wrong one. Because Jeb is more important. But they both died anyhow. That's all for this time. I'm putting this up on the B channel because it sucked. See you in space.